So today's shloka is 4.7, a very famous shloka. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanama dharmasya tadatmanam shri jamyaham Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya Tadatmanam Shri Jamyaham Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata Abhyutthanam Dharmasya Tadatmanam Shri Jamyaham Please recite after me. Yada yada hi dharmasya. Yada yada hi dharmasya. Lanir bhavati bharata. Lanir bhavati bharata. Abhyutthana ma dharmasya. Adatmanam Shri Jamyaham Adatmanam Shri Jamyaham Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata Abhyutthanam Abhyutthanam Adharmasya Abhyutthanam Adharmasya Adatmanam Shri Jamyaham Adatmanam Shri Jamyaham Word for word meaning and translation by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Yada, yada. Yada, yada. Whenever and wherever. Wherever. He. Certainly. Dharmasya. Dharmasya. Of religion. Of religion. Planihi. Discrepancies. Discrepancies. Bhavati. Bhavati. Become manifested. Become manifested. Bharata. Bharata. Descendant of Bharata. Abhyutthanam. Predominance. Adharmasya. Of irreligion. Tada. At that time. Atmanam. Self. Frijami manifest aham I translation whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice there is a decline in religious practice or descendant of Bharata and a predominant rise of irreligion and and the and right religion. At that time, I descend myself. So, the Lord has provided his identity in this chapter so far. The Lord has also established his supremacy in this chapter so far. The Lord has also talked about his appearance, that his appearance is divyam, transcendental. Although the Lord uses the word birth in a previous shloka, we should not think that this is an ordinary birth that is 
out of karma. The Lord comes of his own free will. Here in this shloka, the Lord is telling Arjuna. In the previous shloka, the Lord has said, I come myself millennium after millennium. Now the Lord is establishing why he comes. And when does he come? So he comes when there is a decline in religious practice. And then he's saying the same thing, but in different words, a predominant rise of irreligion. So which means the Vedic scriptures are not being followed. That is a predominant rise of irreligion. Decline in religious practices, maybe whatever the Vedic scriptures there are, it is not being followed completely. Of course, if you're practicing bhakti yoga, one does not necessarily follow the Vedic scriptures. We simply follow Lord Krishna's instructions in the Bhagavad Gita that says that we should simply surrender to him, worship him, bow down our heads to him, offer him something. So that is the simplest way of following Lord Krishna's instructions. But here in this shloka, the Lord is saying why he appears. When everything is going downhill at that time, I myself descend. But millennium after millennium. So you may think uh, Kaliuga is sounding and looking so horrible. Why is the Lord waiting? At the same time, the Lord is so merciful. He also sends his representatives frequently to help us out, to give us direction. And one such representative is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada. To help us, to rescue us, to bring us back to the right path. That is how magnanimous and merciful the Lord is. Even though he does not appear sometimes, he's constantly sending visitors to help us. Visitors from the spiritual world to guide us. They are called Acharyas. Acharyas. 